the beginning. So Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam makes mention of this. And Allah says, إِذْ قَالَ يُوسُفُ لِأَبِيهِ يَا أَبَتِ إِنِّي رَأَيْتُ أَحَدَ عَشَرَ كَوْكَبًا وَالشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرَ رَأَيْتُهُمْ لِي سَاجِدِينَ He says, Oh my father, I have seen 11 stars, the sun and the moon prostrate to me in my dream. The father interpreted dreams, he was a Nabi of Allah. And immediately he knew that there is something going to happen. This child, Allah is going to elevate him. But the father chose to speak in a different way to the child. To say, be careful. There is something known as jealousy that can overtake anyone, even the best from amongst you. Something known as jealousy that can overtake even the best from amongst you. So be careful what you tell them. Do not relate this to your brothers. I want to stop for a moment and talk about Instagram and Facebook and your little profile pictures for one second. Everything that happens in your life, you take a nice picture of it and push it up. Doesn't it happen nowadays? Watch out, be careful. People are suffering and struggling. Why? al haq. You need to know this. The evil eye is the truth. The hadith says, you are inviting people to have the evil eye on you. Look what I ate. Wallahi, I've seen people's profiles. Every meal, they change the picture. Why? Because I had turkey. Wow. Did you have turkey? They say, I had this lasagna. And you, you need to know how to pronounce it as well. And how to spell it as well. <laughs> and I had this and that. And this is the juice I had and the drink I had. And this is where I went. And this is the hotel I stayed in. And this is how beautiful this was. This is the dress I bought. And this... Every single thing and every while you dress your child and the picture is up and you dress another child and the picture is up. Wallahi, there is a lesson. Go back to Surah Yusuf. There are two times that we learn a lesson in this surah in this regard. One was when the brothers were all entering into that particular uh, palace or into the, the ministries uh, in order to get their food. The father says enter separately. And one of the reasons mentioned in the books of Tafsir is so that the people's eye does not catch you all and does not affect you with the evil eye. That was one of the lessons that we learned. And here as well, the father says, La ala Do not relate this dream to your brothers. Do not relate it to your brothers. Why? Because they may plot against you. Out of what? It is clear. Out of jealousy. And the hadith says, Inna al-hasada ya'kulul hasanat kama ta'kulun narul hatab. Indeed, jealousy would eat away at your good deeds in the same way that fire would eat a dry log. And we know this. So my brothers and sisters, think for a moment before you upload your pictures and before you actually put your food and everything else. You know, we are not saying that uh, you should divorce yourself completely from technology. But what we are saying, make good use of it. Make the best use of it, but do not use it to destroy your own self. You can, you can tell genuine people sometimes some goodness you've been in, but it does not have to be everything. Because let me be honest, you send one, two, three, ten pictures, and some people who see it are wishing for it all their lives, working towards it, and you have it with so much ease. Do you think they will be able to digest it? There will come a stage in their lives when they start feeling something towards you. Look at this person, they have heaven on earth and they don't know the problems you have in, the, in, in this dunya. Why don't we put up, pro well I'm not encouraging it but I'm saying, imagine if we were to put up the profiles about the bad things that happened in our lives all the time. We would be living in gloom and doom. But man is such by nature, he wants a good picture of himself out. He wants a good picture, everyone. We want a good image. So there's no harm in portraying that good image, but it does not need to be the finer details of your life. Leave that between you and your loved ones and those who shared it. And sometimes if you really want, perhaps once in a while, you may want to share it with a selected few. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a powerful and a beautiful lesson. Look, we're speaking about Surah Yusuf and we started speaking about beautiful things and we said, be careful who you share it with. Not everyone will be genuine. And even those who are genuine, sometimes it can enter the heart after a certain time and it can affect you. So if you look at what happened,